Now for years I have used the traditional cooler or ice chest uh, for all my camping needs until I was recently introduced to the 12 volt coolers. And since then I no longer use the traditional uh, coolers and there's several reasons why. Number one is the uh, constant need to purchase ice. And two, depending on the quality of your cooler, that ice can melt very quickly, especially on a hot day. And number three, uh, you may have experienced as I have that as that ice melts, that water can find its way into all of your food containers, into your freezer bags, and really soggy things up. And number four, uh, because of that, it makes it, it makes it very unsanitary because that water, as it melts, gets into your food containers. The food containers spills back into the cooler and introduces bacteria into your food. And number five, not to mention that each hand that reaches into your cooler will introduce bacteria and because nobody washes their hands as they get into these coolers. So that makes for a, a very unhealthy uh, situation as all that bacteria can possibly contaminate your food. So let me introduce you to a healthier solution that will keep your food and beverages nice and cold, nice and fresh, and at the same time keep it contaminant free. The Iceco Go 20 12 volt cooler. The unit was very well packaged and out of the box what's included is your AC adapter that you can use for household use, 12 volt adapter that you can use in your camper or in your car or SUV. It also comes with a divider in the cooler which makes this compartment a refrigerator and a freezer. The casing is made of a durable ABS plastic, which has, uh, I think, an attractive design. The compressor that's in this unit is a German design C-Cop Danfoss compressor, uh, and I believe it has an impressive five-year warranty. Danfoss has a reputation for being quality and power efficient. A nice touch to the uh, Iceco Go 20 cooler is the built-in quality of the lid. When you close the lid, it's dampened to have a soft close. It's unlike any other coolers where the lids typically slam shut. On the inside of the lid you have your ice coast specs and on the left side you have a label for the recommended temperature settings for your water, your drinks, your fruits, vegetables, meats. Uh, that's also very handy uh, so when you set up your cooler. Looking inside the cooler the left side of the compartment can be used as a freezer. The right side compartment can be used as a refrigerator. And if you remove the divider, now it can be used as wholly a refrigerator or you can also use it as a freezer. And if you put the divider back in, now you have a refrigerator and a freezer. Now the overall dimensions of the Go 20, it's a 20 liter cooler, which equivalates to about 21.1 quarts. So the overall dimensions are about 22 and a half inches wide, about 12 and a half inches deep, and approximately 12 and a half inches high. The inside dimensions are 13 and 3 quarter inches wide by 9 and a half inches deep by approximately 9 and a quarter inches high. Once your unit is connected to power, to power the unit on you simply touch and hold the power button. And the, and the temperature display will illuminate. The LCD panel has uh, temperature controls that are marked L for left 
and R for right. To adjust the temperature for each individual compartment, use the up and down arrow keys uh, to your desired settings. So in this case for our freezer, we will drop that down to zero. And for our refrigerator, we'll drop that down to 35. There's also a built-in LED light that illuminates when the lid is open. And of course, when you close the lid, light turns off. The unit also has a uh, automatic locking mode, so after about 30 seconds or so, the lock comes on and now you can't make any adjustments. Nobody can lean in, touch anything, and adjust the temperature. To unlock it, you simply just press and hold. Now the unit has a max mode and also an eco mode. And with the max mode setting, the Iceco Go 20 has capability of reducing the temperature from room temperature to zero in about 15 minutes and once that desired temperature is reached you simply switch the mode to eco mode for the cooler to run most efficiently so you turn on the max mode give it about 15 minutes our uh, current temperature will drop now a nice little feature is if we remove the divider well before we do that show you the uh, thermometer we are sitting about four degrees, three to four degrees inside here at the bottom. Now if we remove the divider, watch the display, now it becomes one. So at this point we can drop that temperature down to a desired setting. So once you remove the divider the unit becomes either a full freezer or it becomes a full refrigerator and then when we put the divider back in it's smart enough to know now there's a left and a right side and we can adjust the temperatures accordingly now a unique feature to the Iceco Go 20 is that it is Wi-Fi capable allowing you the ability to control the control uh, control the cooler with a downloadable app and I think this is a feature that is found commonly on more expensive brand models such as uh, Dometic and, and uh, other units like that on the front of the unit we have QR codes of which you can use your Android or your Apple device you can take a picture of that and it'll take you right to the App Store and you can download the app or you can access the apps by going directly to your app store and download it that way. Once you download the app, and I, I kind of actually enjoy this one, uh, you simply open up the app, choose your car refrigerator, in this case it's the Iceco Go 20, and all of a sudden now you have a little bit of information that you can use. Shows your battery voltage. Right now I'm uh, currently connected to a 12 volt system. Shows that I'm uh, at 12.3 on my battery charge. I have 80 percent of uh, battery life. And current temperature is 4 degrees. As you can see it says 4 degrees and 18 degrees Fahrenheit on my right side. Uh, if we go into our settings panel now we have the ability to control the temperature so currently we're on the left compartment and we are set at zero degrees but if I choose to change the temperature you can see that it also changes the temperature on the unit so if we use a quick cooling which is the max mode it also illuminates the max mode button here and now the compressor is totally devoted to the left side of the cooler to get it up to temperature. We'll turn that off. We also have a uh, place here that we can convert our temperature. Currently it's set at Fahrenheit, but if I want it at Celsius, then now my display reads in Celsius. Uh, battery protection. By default it's set on medium. 
and I should have a chart somewhere right here showing you uh, the battery protection. If it's on low, uh, which I don't recommend if you're plugged into your car because the unit will shut off when the battery reaches about 9.4 uh, volts and it'll kick on somewhere around 10 point something volts. That would be good if you're using a secondary battery source such as a Yeti, Blue Yeti, or a Jackery. Uh, on high, we can turn it on high, and you can see our lines here flashed, three bars. Uh, the instructions will show you um, three bars is the high, two bars is medium, and one bar is the low. And if it's on the high setting, the unit shuts off at about 12.4, somewhere in there. I'll have to check my chart again. But by default, it's set on medium, so we'll leave it there. We also have the right compartment, which currently we have set at 41 degrees. If we bring that down to 28, 34, we should start seeing this thing cool down. And you also have the same option here of converting the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit and also your battery protection, low, medium, and high. So by default, it's on medium. That's where I'm running it on my 12-volt system, and it seems to be operating just fine. Now, if we uh, choose to remove the divider, our display from left room and right room here will now become 1. So at this point, we can set our temperature. This is currently set at 41. We can drop that to 32. Uh, same options. You can convert your temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit and your battery protection low, medium, and high. And the same will be true if we reinstall our divider. The unit is smart enough, the app is smart enough to know that now we have uh, a left compartment and a right compartment. That is a handy little feature. So this cooler is large enough that I can pack enough food in here for a nice little weekend trip or enough beverages that I can take on a uh, nice day trip on the inside here. I have my divider in place so I have a freezer on one side, cooler on the other. On the freezer, uh, I have some cod fillets, I've got some salmon, I have about two pounds of hamburger that I can keep on the freezer side. And that will keep it nice and cold. And not have to worry about it thawing out. On this side of the compartment, I can keep my bacon and eggs. Any breakfast stuff, I can keep my lunch meats. And if I want to, I can keep my breads or anything like that in there, any perishables. And also a couple of beverages that I would like to take along on my little trips. But there's plenty of room on the inside uh, for everything I need to take for a nice trip. Now if you like to make uh, frequent long trips to the supermarket to buy your favorite meats, uh, you can take this divider out. You can set your temperatures down to freezing if that is the type of temperature or meats that you're going to purchase. And I've got, man, I got like four or five pounds of meat here, I have my bacon. I've got plenty of room inside once the divider is removed and I can drop that temperature down to zero and keep everything frozen for a trip back home uh, until I got to my refrigerator freezer at the house and not worry about things thawing out. So as a little quick walk around of the cooler, on the sides of the cooler you have built-in handles which makes it very easy to uh, pick up and move around so it's very portable on both sides handles uh, also here down by our connection there is a 15 amp fuse so if the, uh, you're at a, a park or something you plug in and there's a power surge that fuse will <coughs> that fuse will break before uh, it damages your unit 
So you might want to uh, pack along some 15 amp fuses. Also, I'm not sure if you can hear it. But the compressor is running. It is very quiet and uh, generates very little heat. As a matter of fact, let me grab my little temperature gun. And coming out of this system, it is reading 86.9 degrees. So it doesn't get very hot and it does, a, does the job. Now they recommend at least three inches of clearance on the back side, on the side, and on the front when uh, you have it in your vehicle. So uh, keep that in mind when you place this in your rig. Now for recommended uses, I recommend this for light duty use in the back of your crossover or your SUV or even in a van. If you are a van dweller and you like to travel the roads, this cooler is for you. Also, uh, it works great in your camper or in my instance, it works great right in the back of my teardrop trailer. So if you're building a teardrop, this is almost a must-have. So I'm very happy with it and I think it's going to serve me well. So there is a link in the video description below for the ICECO website and if you go there you can uh, click on that link obviously and use the code for 12% off. Code is Oregon Batman. So I hope you check out the cooler. I think you're going to be very happy with it and it's well made, well built and it's going to serve its purpose well. If you're a teardrop builder, this is going to fit right in the back of your teardrop. So I hope you do check out the website and this cooler. And uh, until next time, stay tuned.